Howdy folks, this is Delta Earl here, and welcome back to Eternia SMP, the best place on the planet to play Minecraft 1.16. And here we are. We have another completely jam-packed episode today. I'm like, I got three things I want to talk about, so I started writing out my list for the plan of the episode. And now it's up to like ten things, and I'm not going to split it up because I want to do them all now. I just want to do them. So here we go, we're inside our mountain house, and we're going to start by showing you the progress. So we already did this room last time, right? And we already did this room, no changes here. But if you come down the hallway, I did some changes here. I put in a refrigerator using chiseled red sandstone. I went through a whole bunch of different options. I decided to go with this. That's what I went with. We're keeping the sitting area so you can watch people eat, because why not? And then we come over here. Also notice the ceiling is all white. And yes, it's multicolored. Here is the start of our master bedroom. I got a clock on the wall. And I got a huge bed in here. I was going to do small beds and look dumb. So we're going to do the big um, wool bed thing. We'll put a nightstand in here. And we have glass blocks that are tinted black. Kind of like a dome. And the hardest part about getting this shell done was balancing the inside looking great and the outside looking great. So some blocks in some areas look great in here but terrible outside. And some look great outside but terrible in here. So I think this is a great balance. We will look at the outside in a minute. We got snow falling up there. How cute off the shovel off the roof sometimes. And we kept the tree. We preserved the tree. So there is the shell. I'm very, very excited about how this turned out. It's perfect. You can sleep under here. My wife and I actually had a bedroom similar to this once when we lived in northeast Minneapolis when we first met or first came first got married and came back. Not when we first met. <laughs> when we first came back from Ohio after we got married. And um it kind of curved around. You could see it was full of lilacs along the edge. Unfortunately, it was a really rough neighborhood. And we heard and saw a whole bunch of scary things outside our window at like 3 a.m. on a regular basis. So even though we're right next to the windows and it looked open and airy, you also felt like you're exposed to the, I guess, dangers of the neighborhood right outside the piece of glass you were sleeping next to. So the idea was awesome, but because of where it was, it was very scary. So I'm recreating something similar here where it's very safe, except the patrols. <laughs> that spawn back here but we'll be taking care of that soon anyway so there we go i decided to keep the normal terracotta look this regular terracotta then again the master bathroom i'm going to put in showers and sinks and toilets so you can look outside while you sit on the can and watch people from the village i think and then we'll do some stuff in here with some like dressers and probably like a um well somewhere we'll have a desk to like sit and do stuff I don't know. And I'm not going to open that up to more glass. That's too much of a good thing. Alrighty, coming in here now. This is blue because you come around and here's our bathroom. Again, the tub or shower is going to go here. So you can look outside. And then a sink and stuff here. So there is the shell of the house. And I just have to decorate it now. And then this is the great huge living room. Where you can look outside at places. And I had block in here. But it was too hard to see anything. The tinted black though isn't as clear as the clear but you can still see things um we'll do some amenities the cladding is going to stay the same the floor will stay the same i'm keeping the mountain and dirt on the edge so it reminds you that you are living inside of a mountain and you're just coming out to the side of the mountain same thing here we have coal i'm even going to keep the coal there you can still see like the stone and the dirt i did not do that in the master bedroom because of the way it looks on the outside. It looks awesome like this on the outside, which we'll see in a moment. So there is our maze of a house. I love it. Sorry for the allergy voice. I'll be putting in lanterns, of course. Because lighting options, we've got sea lanterns, which I'm not too fond of for this build. Torches, which aren't going to work. And we could do redstone lighting, I guess, if we want to do like redstone lamps in here. Because this is the fancier room, maybe. I just have to get some glowstone to do it. Maybe we'll do redstone. Actually, no, we can't because it's open above us. I can't get up there and put a switch in, so I can't. This will have to be lanterns, strategically placed. Um, and we can't. This is open here, too, so we can't put switches in here. So no lead, no redstone lamps. And wow, my allergy voice is killing me. Anyway, art. Again, my kid's art. This is a self-portrait of my older kid, and he was like nine. I thought it was pretty awesome. He doesn't have green eyes, though. His brother has green eyes just like that, but he has hazel. But anyway... 
I love this huge face. And we'll do we'll be putting in more art different places too. But there you go. So I now I just need to change the lighting by putting in lanterns everywhere. Because all the lo other lighting options don't really do it for me. Um, for this kind of a build. So there we go. So let's go look outside now. And there shouldn't be any patrols at the moment. But just in case. Um, I'm on the lookout all the time. I really struggled with how to do this outside. So I changed this. This used to be white. I changed that to light gray terracotta. I'm trying to think of something to put in that one block there. Because we have glass up there and we have terracotta here. I tried different colors and it actually looks best with just dirt, to be honest. It doesn't look good when I put a block of anything there. So it's going to stay like that. Um, and then here, I struggled with the outside. Like, where do I put the terracotta? Where do I keep it stone? And this is what I came up with and I'm very happy with it. And then um, this will get all filled in and leveled out, by the way. This is a former cave system that turned into my mountain. This, even though it's flat, actually looks fine. I tried some other options and making it like not flat, but it just looks best flat. So it's going to stay flat. And um, it's like, you know, out of the corner of a mountain. I had to modify my storage area ceiling a little bit for that. And then here it just comes out. There it's not flat. <laughs> but I just did what looks best. And um, this I tried with dirt. I try going terracotta all the way down and just, well, maybe I will put a piece of terracotta in there again. I don't know. But anyway, I struggled with this. Chopped this down a little bit. Sorry about my voice. Holy cow. And this is what I came up with. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep that dirt. But it looks good. Um, I like it a lot. And then the outside here, we might do something with. I don't know yet. The reason why is because eventually this whole area here is going to be built with something. Remember, because we have this glass in here too, which looks kind of funny right now. But eventually this area will be done. Maybe, I mean, I'm talking long term. It might, might be a, more than a year away. Who knows? Maybe that means next week. I don't know. But at some point this will be redone. So that'll be part of this section. So anyway, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Super duper thrilled. And um, now I just have to decorate the inside. So let's head back inside. Oh wait, we also want to get a horse. We're going to get a horse because last time I was out here, there's like seven horses just in this little area. So I don't really care how they perform. I just care what they look like. So that one's black. That one's spotted. This one has bigger spots. So let's try to tame this one if it'll let us. Um, we'll have to see about that. I don't usually do much with horses, but I figure when we want to go to the desert to get sand, we can ride a horse. So you just right click on it, right? So I don't care his hearts, I don't care how high it jumps, I don't care how fast it is. I don't care about any of that. I just go by the color. And um, we're just going to grab this guy because I like how he looks. If he'll let me, come on. I'm looking for patrols because they always come over here from this area. You going to like me or just going to let me sit on you for an hour? What's going to happen here? Come on. This is taking forever. I know it can take a long time sometimes. There it is. Okay, so now we put a saddle on it, right? Do we... Like this? Oh, I forgot my armor. I was going to um put my armor on it too. I have armor for him. Anyway, ooh, my speakers are buzzing because my phone's going to ding. Um, I didn't... I don't know where to put them. I don't know. We just go this way. Can we get three with the horse? I'm not well versed with horses. At all. I just know that I had armor and I forgot it. Come on. Ooh. Okay, you're safe so far. Okay, good. So my plan for right now is to do this, where we're just going to put this down. Wait, how do you get off? You go like this, and then you put a lead on them, and you go like that, right? Okay, good. And how do you make them, how do you make them healthy again? He was full health, but he used, um... Hay bales, right? I think he used hay bales. I don't know. This basic stuff. I'm just like a wannabe builder. I don't know much about um, some of these things. <laughs> I have a lot of holes in my Minecraft education. Where's my horse armor? There it is. We're just going to use gold because that's what we have. And let's put this on him. And then we'll move on to the... Really? Then we'll move on to the next thing. I think my mouse batteries are dying. I've been having a lot of problems with my mouse. Do you just... Right click or you have to be on him first. I think you have to be on him, right? And you put that in there. There we go. 
Ta-da! Now we just need to put a name for you. What should we name you? I think we're going to name you Grig. Don't we have Grig in the other server? I think we'll name him Grig. So I have two name tags, I think. Yep, we're going to name him Greg, and while we're going to name him, we are going to check out our brew still, brewing area, and um, enchanting room, because that's down here. So if you go in here, we already talked about the shell of this before, you come in here, boom, this is going to be the final brewing room, brewing enchanting room, good grief. We have more than enough bookshelves, so they're going to stay like this. I don't want two layers going all the way around, it's too claustrophobic. So it's kind of basic, but the details are in the right places, and I really, really, really love being in this room. Um, I enchanted some books for fun, just to do it for fun, and I got a book for a crossbow or whatever. And then, let's see here, what else? Um, I thought, yeah, I thought I had a breaking book. What did I put it on? I don't know, something. <laughs> anyway, so let's do this name tag, and let's name him Greg. Greg? Let's name him Greg. With two G's. No, I hate that. <laughs> Greg with one G. Alrighty, so that's your horse. We're gonna go name him in a second. Let's come over here to the brewing room, and bam, I love how this turned out. It's nice and tiny the way I wanted it. This is gonna be, I'm gonna have one or two if I need two redstone lamps in the ceiling. That's how we're gonna light this, is redstone lamps in the ceiling, and then we'll get rid of the torches. The other room, if you remember, had um lanterns right as does the waiting area so we are going to do redstone torches that's the only thing that's going to change in here and then brewing super easy i use blackstone polished and um chiseled glass bottles obviously and then warped and then just supplies just whatever i'm i'll organize if i need to but it's just going to be supplies in there so then continuing we can go out this back door and then in here is going to be our nether warped growing room but we need soul sand. We're going to get soul sand today, too. Lady Vivian told me where she has some. And so we are going to go get some. <laughs> I feel so badly, like, just going to people's places and getting stuff. But whatever. Um, that's how SMPs work, I guess. There's enough supplies for everybody. And then you can just lend, borrow, take, <laughs> farm, whatever. So that's what this is going to be. Again, we're going to have redstone lamps in here. Only one or two. As few as we need. And soul sand, so we gotta get soul sand. And then we come out here, we have a secret back door. And this back door takes us to what's gonna be the second bridge. Remember, right? so we're gonna have a double decker bridge, but it's gonna be offset. Unfortunately, this tree probably has to come down, which is a bummer. And then iron door, so we need a button for that. Alrighty, let's go back to, and this is gonna be a pond, by the way. Eventually, let's go back to our horse and name him. And then we'll move on to the next item on the to-do list. And these animals keep moving around. They're going to fall off. Like I said, the cat will end up inside eventually, but the dog will have a dog house. Okay, Greg, welcome to the server. You are now on the server. There you go. And we'll get you some hay bales. And we'll get you a proper stable and everything. And maybe we'll find you a donkey to make a mule or something. Alrighty, what is next? Alright, we're going to go to Elduendon's um, villager farm. And we're going to get a bunch of books. I have some emeralds and some books. I did do a practice trade, so we're not going to get the achievement. I already got it. But um, it's pretty exciting. So let's head over there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alrighty, so I believe he's in the hot air balloon. And since we are in Eternal Haven, we need to check our mailbox. And it looks like nothing's in there, because I can see from out here. But we check just in case. Alright. Okay, hit shut. Alrighty, off to the hot air balloon to go to Eldwenden's place. And then we will... Do some villager trading, and then we're going to go to Lady Vivian's place to get some soul sand, and then we will plant the nether wart together, and we will enchant our things with the books together. Actually, we can probably just do that at Elduendon's if he has anvils. I don't know. Here we go. Elduendon's over here. Oh, that's Lady Vivian. Elduendon's next to him. Yep, here we go. All right, so if we go... Not there. If we go here... Oh, there's a flower farm, too. We're going to... Hmm, I was going to go to the flower farm, which is near here. In this episode too. Maybe we can. Maybe we go to the flower farm. We're halfway there. Alrighty, so if we go back here, then you go down these stairs. This is the farmers and um book people and villagers. Okay, so 
what do we want to do? First of all, I'm going to show you his berries, which are awesome. He has this berry farm, which he said we can use the berry farm to, um, um, use the berry farm to trade to get emeralds. So we can come here, and this thing fills up so fast. Like, if you sit here a second, it just goes boom, 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 boom. Let's take some berries. And this thing, like, when I was here the other day, I was looking at it, it just filled up all these, just from sitting here for a minute. It's so crazy. And then we can trade, I think it's this guy. Whoops, the dude, not the smoker. And then you can get a whole bunch of emeralds, right? So there's going to be two emeralds, for example. Anyway, that's how you do that. And that's why you're not getting the achievement now, because you're dead. Now let's go up here and get the books. I think I brought enough books. Alrighty, so, let's see. Um, oh, shroom lights. I love shroom lights. Ooh, polished basalt, right? It is. Okie dokie, what do I want? I want to get Infinity, Fortune, Silk Touch, and Two Mending. So let's go right here. Fortune 3. If we right-click on him, he wants what? He wants 14 emeralds and a book. So if I go like this... Yeah, my mouse batteries have to be dying. This is ridiculous. This should be Fortune 3. It is. And that'll be on my pickaxe. Alright. Oh my gosh. This is not... My mouse is barely working. Then I wanted... Infinity and Silk Touch. Silk Touch is here. Silk Touch is 15 emeralds in the book, and we don't have enough emeralds, so we need to go down here and get berries. And this is what all the that we can do, so I'm not, like, being greedy or anything. Like I said, I just stood there and filled up almost a row or half a row of berries. So, like, all this filled up. So we're going to take a bunch. And we're going to come over here. And this guy is not taking a nap. We will trade. Yeah, my speakers are going crazy because of my cell phone. So there will be six more, and then this will be five more. There we go, we'll just hold on to the berries, because why not? And then, see, as we stand here, it just fills up. I think this is all full. See, I look at this. There's more than enough. More than enough. As long as you don't accidentally kill a villager or something. Alrighty, so what was I going to do? Silk Touch, I think, right? It's also next to it. So he wanted what? He also has protection. He wants 15 and a book. So if we do 15... And a book. We should get silk touch. And that'll go on my shovel, probably. I'll make a second shovel for that. Alrighty, so now what did I want to do? I wanted to get infinity, which I saw right here. And he needs seven and a book. So there we go. So there's nine and a book. And that's infinity for my bow. And then I wanted, look at my list, silk touch, fortune, infinity, and two mending books, which I saw. Where did I see those? Where did I see mending? I think it was way up here. Yep, mending. And what does he need for mending? He wants 10, so I need to get 20 and two books. Okay, so I need to get 20, um, 20 berries. So let's run down here. This thing is just amazing. I love this build. Like, we will do a slow paste tour. Look at this. It keeps going on and on. We will do a tour of this place and um, take your time looking at things. But for right now, we're just going to get some berries. So we need a 18 more berries. So that would be well, that would be more than enough. So let's just go like this if he's still awake. Sometimes you need to take a nap as the opponent says it. But let's go like this. Get some emeralds. And go like this. Get some emeralds. That's I'm not counting right, because that's only 8 emeralds. The trade's getting worse? That was... Oh, it, the price went up. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so does that mean I screwed it up for everybody now? If I made the price go up, does that mean I screwed it up for everybody, or does it go back down after time? Right? You can see what I'm asking. Go like this. There's 14. 16. We need a few more. And is his price going to go up now? So far, so good. And there's 20. So we don't need all these berries. But since the berry farm is doing so much, well, he's out of stock. And his price went up. Okay, I'm going to ask about that. I hope I didn't screw that up for everybody. Anyway, since this is producing so much, and already filled in like a couple since we've been here, I'm just going to keep those berries. Why not? Alrighty, here we go. And I think I'm in the same chunk, so that's to still produce while I'm up here, right? That berry farm should replenish as I'm standing up here, I think. 
Oh, I need to do stuff with these. I need to make some soul sand or soul flame lantern. What do they call them? Soul lantern. I need some of them in my house. Oh my gosh, how exciting! Yes, I will get to the Nether, and I will look for that. I forgot what I need to get the flames, though. I got some research to do. All right, here we go. Moving on. Um, if we want mending, we do this, and we can get two mending books. There we go. Alrighty, we did all of our trades. Um, I'll just apply this stuff at home. So we want Soak Touch on a different shovel. We want Fortune on our axe. I mean, pickaxe. We want Mending on this. We want Infinity on that. I think I can add Infinity to that. And we wanted Mending on... We can't do Mending on that. There's going to be Mending on this. And this. We're going to do Mending on that. That's what it was going to be, right? Something like that. <laughs> anyway, I just want to make sure I got everything. Okie dokie, moving along, we're going to try to find this, um... We're going to try to find this flower forest, and I totally forgot. No, I don't need bone meal. I think it's an automated, automated farm. And if you have bone meal, you can replenish it to be nice, but I forgot it. Anyway, let's try to find this flower farm, just because I was needing a whole bunch of dyes for my house project. And I realized I have like one flower <laughs> left. My name is the same color I want. So if we come over here, right? This is all we got here, I think. Trample through this. Yep. And we go to the guarding farm and go up. I think we will we will go northeast towards the flower forest. So here's the guarding farm, but we have to get out of the guarding farm to go northeast. So how do you get out of the guarding farm? <laughs> how do you get out of here so you can <laughs> go northeast? Because we're not in water, so I can't exactly swim. Because I'm not in water at the moment. Um, that's how this works, though. That's really cool. How do I get out of here so I can go s for a walk or a swim to... Um, um, can I go through here? Yep. Let's not get attacked by things. Alright, if we go northeast which is this way. There's a flower farm. That must be it right there. Down, please. Alrighty, obligatory. Swim view. Whoops. There we go. I'm trying to do this. Going for a swim. Ah! You can't swim while you um, <laughs> are changing your stuff. Okay. Alrighty. I think it's this way. It has to be this way. What else would be here? I think this is it. We're heading northeast, right? It won't be over there. It'd be right here. And um, we're going to see what this looks like. I want to look behind us. That looks awesome, doesn't it? That's an amazing garden farm. Everything's amazing. But everybody does. Holy cow. I love this gigantic tree. What's over there? I should really be having Dynamap open so I can see where I'm going. I you know where I'm going. That's okay. If I kill my focus on this window, then my recording will corrupt, so we're not going to worry about it right now. Alright. Is this the flower farm? We are going to find out together here. Um, I'm just following my Discord instructions. Um, I think we're underneath flower farm. Because there's the water dripping that's supposed to push the flowers into hoppers or something. Um, wow, what's over... Is that his main base over there? Because I know there's a bee farm around here. How do I get around this without breaking stuff on accident? Um, oh boy, I can't get out of here. Um, I know he has a bee farm and stuff. Yeah, this must be like his main base or something. Over there. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on. Do 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 do, making me dizzy. Not cut any of this out. Doing stream style stuff. Okay, so here we go. Oh, this is the flower farm. It does all of its stuff. Okay, so I think somebody said you push a button and it does something. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I just broke everything. Okay, so here's all the flowers. I don't know how to. Okay, that the bone meal where if you're nice and you have bone meal, you can put some in there. Is that how that works? 
I don't know how this... Okay, okay. There's a bunch of seeds coming out. Alright, well, let's see here. I don't... Ooh, look at that. So, I guess I just take things. I feel so selfish, but I guess that's the point of this, right? Okay. I'm not going to take too many things. I'm just going to take stuff that I like, don't have. Which is everything, I guess. Actually, I have access to these. I'll take one of those. Okay, and... Corn flour, which I think will give us more blue. Okay. Nice. I'm very excited. I think everything's on this side, right? I don't go around and there's not, like, another side. There's a bee. Alrighty, well, we've seen a few of Alduendon's farms now, but we'll tour in detail. So, again, somewhere there's a general mob farm, which is probably that. And then there's a bee farm, which is probably that. Because when you fly above, it looks like a bee. I don't know. I really have no idea. Like I said, I don't even know where I am on Dynamap. Where are my coordinates? I can look it up on Dynamap. Negative 1509 and negative 970. Alrighty, so now I have to figure out how to get home. No, not home. Back to Eternal Haven so we can go visit Lady Vivian's place and get some stuff. And just like that, we're back in the hot air balloons. So we were at Alduendas, now we're going to Arturia. Alright, so... Oh, there's a parrot. I haven't seen any parrots yet. I need to get to the jungle and get some parrots. And put them somewhere safe. Oh, I love how this looks. Hey, Pepe. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. We're going to obviously tour here as well, but... Wow. Okay, so... Lady Viv, Fani would like to build you a Christmas present. Mark, I'll second spot to build it. Um, we will tour this place, obviously, so I'm not going to give it too much away now. So what do the instructions say? Hot air balloon, step on the pressure plate, go out the front door. Look right, you'll see enormous doors in the mountains. Go over there. Must be those. That is super cool. How do you get there? You just kind of swim. We I know he's up for a little skinny dip. Here we go. Up we go, up we go. Alright. Whoa, what the heck? What is this? Is that a farm or someone's house? Dude. Hey Dogbert. No, Sir Dogbert. I love using the doors like this. Oh, it's trapdoors. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can't wait to tour this place. Oh, wow. Okay, anyway, go through the big, huge doors, it says. Okay, and then it says, Nether ward on the right, halfway up the stairs. Oh, there's the egg. There's the dragon egg. Nether ward on the right, halfway up the stairs. Okay. If you need soul sand, keep going up the stairs. Another stuff in the chest on the right. Whoa. Everybody is so... Far along and they're building sorting and stuff. Dude. Well, she told me I could take some soul sand if I can find it. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. Um, how much did I need for my little thing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 18, 19, 20. I think 26 is enough. If it isn't enough, I'll get my own later. So thank you, Lady Vivian, for letting me take half a stack of soul sand. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to give away too much so we do an actual tour of this place, but this is crazy. Wow. Alrighty, where is the pressure plate back to Eternal Haven? I saw it down here. This is the coolest castle of all castles. Whoops, nope, I didn't need to go out the front door. I meant to go... Yes, I did. Is something firing at me? It is. <laughs> I like the purple collar. Alrighty, um... I'm just blown away. Here I thought I was doing a great job by doing the front cladding of my mountain house. And then I come here, and even this is a bazillion times more creative and better than my mountain house ever will be. And then people are letting me, they're like, go get supplies from these farms. I just go take stuff from farms. Man. Okay. <laughs> I have to get over the guilt that I'm feeling right now. Anyway, alrighty. Back to EH. And then from the hot air balloon, which I'm lost because I've never TP'd back there before. We go this way, and then we go back to the train, and then we go back to, except we're going to be a rebel here, we're going to go this way to the train, although I have jumped around and gotten stuck before, I better be careful, <laughs> I don't want to get stuck in places, 
And we'll go back to my place, and then we will wrap up by mending our things. So I think I'm way down here. Coltenberg, and here we are. We need a snack. Snack time. All right, and anything I should harvest while I'm standing here? Nope, I got to kill those kills. I'm getting too many. And I'll do trees off camera. See, I was super proud of this. I thought this was the coolest thing I've ever built in Minecraft. And then I go visit people's, like, farms, and they're amazing, and people's other bases, and they're amazing. But we'll get there, right? I just have a different style, I guess. I mean, this is okay. I've never, like, questioned or doubted myself anything in my life, but... I don't know, I'm on this, like, Minecraft resurgence. I'm like, I'm gonna build the best base ever, and then I see other people's stuff. And I'm like, oh, then I keep telling myself, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build a public farm. Because I take from so many other farms, I want people to take from me. I want to be able to give, because it feels better to give than to take stuff, but... I haven't run into any spawners or anything, but as soon as I find a spawner, I'm gonna make a farm. I don't know what kind. I'll make my first farm and tell people it's available, and then... I guess it'll be interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I just haven't run into any spawners yet. But then I'll have to find a way down there, like... A plate to it, I guess. I don't know. I'm getting way off track. Here we go into my boring mountain house. Then again, remember, the name of the town is Kultaberg. It means boring and ordinary. So, see, I planned ahead <laughs> for this moment I'm feeling. All right, what are we going to do? We are going to enchant some stuff, if I can. I hope this works the way I'm thinking it's going to. All right, here we go. Infinity. I'm going to put infinity on my bow. Can I do that? I can. What are we going to call it? Um, what should we call it? Um, let's just call it Curve. Yep, the bow's name is Curve. <laughs> so this we need mending on. Okay, let's see. Mending will go on this, right? Mending Diamond Axe. What should we call it? Axle? Axle. I'm just making crap up. Okay, mending is going to go on my sword, I think. This is going to be called Stabby. Super cliche. No. I'm going to call it Slice. I'm going to call it Slice. And then we're going to put my favorite Fortune Diamonds Forever. Because it has Mending and Fortune now. There we go. Yay! And then we're going to do Silk Touch on a different shovel. Do I have one diamond? Then I should have gotten mending too then, if I'm going to have a Silk Touch shovel. I don't want Silk Touch on this, because I want to be... Well, wait, no. Let's see. Hmm. I get annoyed when I get a whole bunch of grass block when I want dirt block. But if you're if you're leveling something, you're terraforming, you'll get grass from the top and dirt underneath. So maybe I should just put Silk Touch on that, because that's mending. Let's do that. And then if I really need dirt and there's some grass in my way, then I'll get a throwaway shovel. You know what I mean. So let's do mending and Silk Touch on this guy. I can't. Why can't I? Because I don't... That's not Silk Touch. Because <laughs> that's Silk Touch. Shovel. Um, let's call... His name is Digger. So uncreative. I'm a minimalist after all. Alrighty, so now I just need... To find mycelium, we have to make a trip out to a deserted mushroom island. And um, where was I going to put blank books? Didn't I have a spot for blank books? Well, anyway, I'll figure out blank books. I swear I, I have all these books. Don't I have a spot for them? Maybe anyway, I'll figure it out. Um, what was I saying? Oh, we have to go to a deserted. Mushroom Island, so that we can um, get one piece of mycelium and make it spread. Make like mycelium farm for ourselves so it can spread. But otherwise, that's it. So I'm thinking next episode some nether stuff. I really, really need some quartz to build my bathrooms. And I really need a few more pieces of soul sand, which reminds me I was going to make our nether wart growing area together. But, yeah, why not? Oh, good. It looks like we have enough. Good, all right, then can I reach from here? I gave myself this. Wait, what? So I just realized that I grabbed soul soil, not soul sand. So I have to go back and return all this and get the right stuff, which I'm not going to do on camera because this episode, even edited down, is over half an hour. So that's going to be it. We're going to end right here. Another anticlimactic ending. 
to a turtle video. That's how we roll here. So like, subscribe, and join me for some more anticlimactic videos next time.